Robin Laurie, Ricky Smiley, thank you so much. Yes. I listened to your segment, speaking of your radio show, and um, don't get me started. You preached. I want you to give us a glimpse of where you were that day. You talked about God is going to put you in a place where everybody else may not come or be able to come. Please take us back. I don't know if anybody heard it. Uh, it has gotten over 10 million. Mm. I'm sure it had you in the car toe up because, uh, God, you know, God had put that on my heart. I have a responsibility in radio. You know, sometimes God give you a microphone and put you in a position to see what you're going to do with it. Mm -hmm. And I was having a, uh, what's the day? Today is? Today's the 5th. Wednesday? May 4th. Right. Monday, I was having a terrible day because I felt abandoned by some friends. And it was raining that day. And then I was having drama with my youngest son, and it was just a lot of stuff coming at me. We were getting ready to do all of this today, all of the phone calls, drama with the son, dealing with some stuff with, 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 with so-called friends or whatever. And I, it was just a bad day, and it was raining that day. So I was sitting there, I was like, you know, I have to learn as an older man to find a way, even in bad situations, to flip it and give God the glory anyway. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because this thing is not about you because somebody can be blessed from your situation. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross in order for us to live. We were blessed because he died and he suffered. You understand? So I went on the radio and took some Bible scriptures and, and put it and paired it with my situation and what I was going through in order to flip it, in order to bless somebody else. And I just got on a rant or whatever, you know, because in trying to, trying to let people know that God is taking you to another level, but God ain't gonna bless you with no new furniture if your house is not clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? God don't bless mess. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to cut people out of your life, whether it's an auntie, whether it's an uncle, whether it's a friend, whether it's a frat brother, whether it's a sorority sister, whether it was some people that's holding you down, you're not obligated to take everybody with you. Sometimes you have to cut people off yes. in order to grow, you know, because uh, cause the lighter you are, you know, the higher you fly. You don't see eagles. An eagle is a bird and so is a chicken. But you ever can't, you can't ever go to church chicken and order eagle meat because <laughs> eagles fly so high, see, they can't even catch an eagle in order to sell it at church. Even though the pieces of chicken at church is big, it look like eagle meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's real but guess what? A, guess what? An eagle and a chicken is. It's a bird. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. But you don't see no eagles hanging with chicken. Okay. So I, I just try to get people in that kind of thinking and get people that kind of inf uh, information to get them motivated and excited about life because that's what it's all about. But and but get people closer to God and you and get people to go to Bible study where you can get that teaching mm -hmm. and that foundation. And when are we going to see your church, sir? Where can we go to uh, uh, Reverend I Smiley? Be, I will be preaching this Sunday at the new, <laughs> the old Lord hold my mule while I shout. Right. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, sir.